Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we recruited not one, not two, but three new companions for the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm just down here in the, I guess, well, this, this is one of the holes in one that we have down here. All kinds of materials down here. By the way, very, very dark. Let's go topside. Here we go. Much, much better. Get up out of here. All right. Where did I park my bike? Oh, there it is. So I was using the newly crafted auger there to harvest up some iron because we're going to need the iron for steel. So I'm going to head back to the base and get all the forges rolling real quick. And then I do believe that we have a little bit of base construction that's left. And I think I have uh, something like 170 shapes to do it with. We'll see how far that gets us. But check out the crew that we have here. Let's see who's on the shift today. We've got Midnight Age over here with the sweet... I love this color, man. Cotton candy blue. I, I once had a car. I had a a Dodge Challenger and I wanted to paint it that color so bad I just thought it would look so cool and then we've got Norm over here Ruger Halo Traction and last but not least Spanky man we got a nice variety of power armor here we've got camouflage for nighttime for the ocean for the snow biome and for the desert as well so we can kind of pick and choose when we want to come with us all right i got a little bit of busy work to do let me get caught up with crafting and um, we'll get started with our day i have a special mission planned for today let's start working on the precision workbench that'll be almost 20 minutes to craft looks like i can get another about 1500 or so concrete mix we'll do we'll just split it 50 50 in the mixers here and in terms of steel we are up to almost a thousand it looks like a little over a thousand and we have plenty more iron rolling into that forge over there and there it is 146 cube shapes i don't think that's going to be enough to do what i want to do in fact there might be a bit of an expansion project coming up the special mission for today is i need to find a flying vehicle probably much easier said than done but i've heard that the best place to find a flying vehicle is on an old helipad so let me, let me get upstairs. Uh, and by stairs, I mean up the A-frame. You should get a pretty good view up here. <laughs> I could just, you know, climb my way up here. Use my power armor arms to just drive my fingers into the cobblestone. I do have the glove mod that gives me extra damage against blocks if I punch them. <laughs> Who would ever do that anyway? Okay, here we go. Got a bit of a vantage point. So what I'm looking for, there's a Higashi Tower way off in the distance there that I can see. I've driven kind of close by to that, but we by no means have gotten like right up to it. We have the casino there, but I don't think that a casino would have a helipad. And the last option that I can think of, I don't even think, oh, is that it right there? I think that's it. Yeah, that is a crack -a book tower right there. So that has a helipad at the top as well. And I think that one's probably the closest and the best option. So. I think we should head over to that place there today, try to work our way to the top and see if we can, if, if there's any kind of like a vertebrate or a gyrocopter or it's just anything that flies up there and see what it would take to repair it. Speaking of repair, let's get the motor tool parts. The auger was working really good last night. It's it, even though it's just a level one, it degrades quickly, but it gets the job done for sure. All right, let's do a little bit of work with the shapes here this morning. All we really have to do are, well, we've got the V2 plates here on this. I think this whole side is actually already done. Uh, missing some parts on that side over there, it seems. No big deal, just fill those in. And then for the one over here, we've got that kind of centerpiece there. Hmm, could we do something like just a little bit more interesting than like a plate in that position there? <laughs> like the gazebo roof V1 topper? What would that look like there? Actually, I, that doesn't look, does that look bad? I'm gonna try it out of wood first. I don't even know where I found that thing. Gazebo. Here we go. There. Does that bring it together, kind of? Or I don't think I've ever used a gazebo shape in my entire life, but I don't know that it looks particularly that bad. I'm going to actually just try a couple more shapes, but I've almost sold myself on that one already. What I was thinking to do was like just a, a spike, basically. And that's about what that's going to look like there. Yeah. I gotta say that that definitely fits the the aesthetic with with the angles and stuff a lot better. Um, I'm gonna roll with the good old fashioned spike. Let's not let's not dabble into the gazebo shapes just yet. I think I'll put that off to another another theme another time. Oh, and of course there's just some busy work to do around here. Okay, I'm gonna get the base patched up a little bit here. Then we gotta run the V2 triangle plates all the way up on the other side, the newly built ramp. 
And there we go. I think that was the last thing that I could see that needed to be fixed up here. I think that does it for like the design for the basic construction here, at least <laughs> until the next Horde Night. I would like to dig, is this? Yeah, okay, so I'd have to do a little bit of work here, but I would like to dig this over or just a little bit more. Let's see, how many shapes do I have left, by the way? 71? I think that's enough to go down and back twice. And by down and back twice, I mean down and back once. And this should basically just flush up the pad that we built for the base with the road. Perfect, we have six remaining. Oh, how did this happen? Ah, there's always like some like awkward divot. Can I just make some destroyed stone, like two of those so I can patch this up properly and it all looks nice. And then I'll get some more shapes built up and what we'll do is we'll do sheets, I think is probably our best bet, usually is. Just get the square sheets and then you, if you just lay them flat like so, that should cover up any sort of awk- well, it covers up the awkward lip that's there. And hopefully there shouldn't be another one. Here, just lay that in. I think that's going to be a nice, crisp, flush pad for us uh, in the near future, in the next couple of days, I would say. And then the just fill that in. And of course, that one's already a little bit damaged, so it looks bad. That's better. And things are quite lumpy around here, so there might be a little bit more to do. And then this side over here is just not even- See, what's gonna happen over here is we'll have to get the shapes out and, uh, geez, I guess we'll just have to do a little quick test here and see how it's gonna look. I think it's just gonna, it's gonna push the ground down a little bit. Yeah. I think that that's, that's actually really good. That's fine. And then just, we'll just peel this one off like so. And uh, yeah, it'll look something like that. That actually looks great. Perfect. Okay, things are looking good around here, but I'm itching to get out and see the world again. <laughs> we kept such a crew here, and I'm not, I'm not averse to hiring more. I mean, I'll we got like station here, station here. That's room for eight more. We could put guys on the roof to defend against birds. Although I think the blade trap situation has that covered. We could put sentries on the corners up here with sniper rifles to help kind of cover the base and then you know if there's ever some sort of a massive attack we should be defended 360 degrees right how about another 64 forged steel rolling in this forge over here and the iron and clay soil is smelting away and this one over here I guess we're gonna have to probably put some stone in that one for more mix. Although we're getting low on stone as well. We're always low on something. Man. We're pretty industrious, aren't we? Here, turn that on. Let that smelt in there for half a day. And with that, let's check on the precision workbench there. That's another six or so minutes. That'll be done by the time we get home for the night. Okay, let's set out then. Do we have everything we need? We have ammo. Everything seems to be repaired and in good working order. The armor is not looking bad, but I will grab one repair kit and fix up my boots. And with that, I think that is looking okay. All right, let's hop down here. Midnight Age, since you have my favorite color of power armor, let's say, follow me. And with me today, I will bring Spanky. I can't remember who I gave what weapon. I think I gave an AK to Spanky or did Spanky have an AK? Or I, I made a, an M60 and gave it to someone, I don't know. But everyone has a fully automatic weapon or a shotgun. Okay, so actually Midnight Age, I wanna bring someone with a shotgun. I think I have two guys with shotguns. No, I have two guys with M60s. I should probably like make a friggin' roster or something so I can keep track of this stuff. All right, you then with a shotgun, follow me. Got Norm and Midnight Age. All right, let's, um, did I bring the fuel with me? I do have the fuel with me. I bring the repair kits because you never know when you're gonna crash your motorcycle or whatever. In fact, I think I'll bring the truck with me if we have a truck still. Where's the truck? I think the truck is gone. Did the truck explode at some point? I think last time I saw it, it was parked over here. Or maybe that guy with the power hammer <laughs> that was been walking around here for a week drove it off. You know, that was his payment for helping us take down the castle. Yeah, that's probably the case. So anyway, we do have a backup option in the motorcycle, but now since we don't have a backup vehicle, I mean, I don't, I don't remember. I didn't park it somewhere and forget all about it, did I? No, I haven't driven that thing in weeks. Huh. Okay, well, it's gone. You guys are supposed to be on guard. Situational awareness, guys. Okay, yeah, case in point. The motorcycle needs fuel and also needs to be repaired. Right, let's get a move on. It's getting kind of late in the day. 
We are heading to the crack -a book on the other side of town. I'll meet you there. All right, here it is. crack -a book Tower, right on the right here. You guys ready for this? The guys seem pretty enthusiastic this morning. Let's get him, boys. All right, I gotta get some extra frames just in case. 75 should do me in for a month or so. And... Uh, whoop, oh, whoop, wait a minute now. Radiation, okay, that means we've got a big radiated zombie or we've got radioactive, like, barrels or, or something in here that are dangerous. Okay, that... Uh, I knew this was gonna be more complicated than I thought, so... Really, we just have to get to the roof and see if there's anything there. We, I don't think we have to clear the whole place out unless we feel inclined to do so. So, all right, we gotta start somewhere. Oh, jeez, I can't even get on the ladder there. Well, I guess I'll have to do this with... Oh my god, it's gonna be hard, because we've gotta kill like 50 zombies just to get to the first level. Oh boy, hmm. Is there, I feel like there should be a radiation Power Armor Rad Resistant mod. Okay, that's what we need. Can be installed in the Power Armor. Makes you immune to the various sources of radiation. Wow, that is the most important thing that we could possibly get right now. Very easy to craft. It's just, we gotta find the schematic or purchase it. By the way, okay, on the way home or sometime in the next day or two, we gotta go visit the traders because the from what I've heard, they've all gotten together and made, made their own sort of all-in-one trader compound. They were sick of getting kidnapped and attacked, and so they've pooled their resources and made a singular trader compound. All right, let's do this then. We're doing Rad Z. We're gonna do a first aid kit behind. I just crafted a bunch of those. And we gotta move quickly here, as quickly as we possibly can, to try to find the source of radiation and take it out. Oh, I should have brought dynamite with me. Well, I guess it all starts here. I do have shotgun. The shotgun and shotgun slugs. There it is right there. I am just gonna stand here and rip that apart and hopefully get out of here in one piece. There we go, kind of working. And there's the businessman. That was not the only source of radiation though, it seems. There we go, good chance for the slugs. Line up for me, blasting legs off. Getting some headshots in. Not quite as bad, I'm actually shooting the building apart. That's how strong the slugs are. Okay, good. Can I just take a break over here and recoup some hit points? Yes, speaking of that, I found some zombies in here. While I'm waiting to heal up, I'm gonna carve in here. Gotta kill all of you guys eventually. Might as well get started here. There we go, and a bookshelf. What are the, what are the chances we're gonna pull that schematic out of here? Probably like 0.1%. Okay, how are the guys doing? The guys are doing okay. Oh, hello there, nurse. And Killer Joe over here on the right. Good. Anything in that nurse there? One cloth. All right. The guys are getting real frustrated right now. So let's, okay. No, oh, oh, I fell down. Yeah, geez, I guess we're just moving quickly. Moving quickly, trying to find the sources of radiation. I don't see any other way to go about this right now unless I start nerd pulling or something. Here we go. And take a left. Where's the radiation? Maybe if we go up, it'll be a little bit easier to clear stuff out. We got crawler zombies here at least of my concerns right now here i need a bandage oh, okay it's not it's not down on this level i don't think i can't see anything oh that was a safe spot over there though that's kind of good to know about here we go i can't really see what i'm doing right now i don't know where my friends are Whoop! Oh, reload oh there's the radiation source right there i found it I've got to get out of here though before I die. Out we go, and then I think I was pretty safe when I was standing right here. Oh jeez, 63 hit points left. Here, take a first aid kit. Do we still got the Rad Z going? I think we do. I think the guys are kind of taking care of the ones that are trickling down and falling out. What is with that lumberjack? Do you see that? He took like 10 shots to kill. All right, they're trickling out a little bit. Looks like we got a lot of the crawling variety left. Okay, I'm gonna run up in here again and see if I can find the uh, the tub, the tub of radioactive material. Just grind it up with the auger and yes. Okay, we're, we're good. We've cleared this level at least and then the rooftop is right above us. So, okay, everyone seems to be doing okay. Where's, whoop, 
There's definitely some more here somewhere. It could be up there on the rooftop somewhere. It could also be... <laughs> I don't know where it is. Is it over here in one of these offices? No. Probably either... I think it's probably above me. Here, let's try to get upstairs. Here we go. All right. Yeah, it's definitely up here. I can sense it. I'm getting closer to it. All right. Charge! Whoa! Oh my god, there's a vertebrate on the helipad there. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, we gotta not die here. I gotta go downstairs where I'm... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I gotta go uh, off the building. Yes. Ah! Oh my god, I just bounced off. I'm halfway down the building now. Um, but there's definitely a vertebrate up there. Oh god, look at the zombies that are just waiting for me down there. Waiting for me to fall. Where, where are my, um, brothers? They're... I have no idea. <laughs> Stuff's blowing up somewhere. It's probably a bad sign. I'm going the rest of the way down. I got the dukes in my pocket. That usually is enough to save me. Okay, at this point we're just waiting for things to settle down a little bit. We got some birds to kill. We've got some zombies that are running their way down. Oh, clever, clever zombies working their way down on the little lift here. Whoop! Ah. Yeah, oh, all of a sudden we've got three rad lumberjacks to work, to work with here, to work against. Ah, come on! Reload faster! Oh my goodness. All right, midnight age, like 50% health right now. I should have made some, I don't like the slugs. They're good on Fortnite, but they are not good for POI clearing, are they? Ugh. Get back! Ah, another one! Many more! Okay, I think we all need to regroup here at the motorcycle if we could. Thank you! Yeah, go over to the energy weapons and well specced into these things. Everyone's about 50% hit points, we'll have to do some healing here in just a minute. Bo, bringing up the rear! Oh god! No, 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 no! Okay, tactical retreat. We have got to go away and get some first aid kits. All right, we'll, we'll park it over here on this dirt road here and just clobber that dog. Whoa! Jeez, I felt like I got shot there. Okay, this is daytime too. Imagine what, what this would be like at nighttime. Okay, I said first aid kit. Let's do at least first aid bandage. Whoa, pizza, what are you doing here, big man? All right, we've, we've killed all these guys basically with melee. <laughs> we're, we're pushing our way back. There's just too many rads all at once there. Oh no! 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 We got a big problem here! There we go. Both the slugs kind of helped for that situation where we were kind of surrounded. Okay, Midnight Age. Midnight Age is in the blue armor. I'll tank for you for a little bit, but you gotta get out of here, man. Yes, Midnight Age. Please let me talk to you and pick you up. Holy crap, that was close. Almost lost one there. And a level up with five skill points to spend. Maybe if I can get my head on straight here, I'll spend them. Hard chance though, there are still just zombies everywhere. Look at this massacre here. And I'm thirsty, but the good news is there's a vertebrate on the rooftop there. We just need to hop up and figure out what it needs to repair. In fact, I'm not going to be able to because I don't have the vehicle repair impact driver unless I can pull one out somewhere. They're pretty common, so... If there was like a working stiff tool shop around here, I guarantee you I could pull one out without having to go all the way back home, you know? Okay, so that's the plan. That cracker book is basically 50% clear. You gotta go down to the basement to get the loot, which I might do if I... Ah, I don't like my chances on that either because it's getting really late. Oh, that's a working stiff tool though, right there, but... I think the mutants, they have a thing for this variety of working stiff shop. You know what though? I don't think this is inhabited by mutants. It's inhabited by zombies. Radiated zombies, but still, just zombies. In fact, I think it's time for a first aid kit. I've used like way too many of those today. It's unsustainable. We should try not to do that <laughs> as much. Yeah, these shelves right here I find and toolboxes and such are great for car parts and also for the um, vehicle repair impact drivers. Now Norm is all is all stuck. Where, where is Norm? Anyway, here he is. I wish you guys had better melee capability. I mean, I know you got the M60, but man, it's got a bayonet on it. All right, that was unnecessarily chaotic. Would you stop? Stop with the just attacking random zombies, man. You okay? 
Jeez. Now this place is secure. For now, at least. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that this place has what we're looking for. This has not what we're looking for. Okay, bust. We need to go home then to get the vehicle repair impact driver. We'll come back over here. We'll check on the vertebird. And, um... Oh, man. The vertebird probably has, like, vertebird specific parts that I don't have any of those. But at least if we figure out what one we need, maybe I can go check with Trader Bob and... He'll be able to sell me the parts. Kind of unfortunate. Usually I bring home two or three of those vehicle repair impact drivers per day. Oh, you know what we could do? Over here somewhere nearby is the the trader compound we were just talking about. We'll head over there and see if anyone is selling any good parts or anything. Okay, this is the spot. You can see their flag up there. This is the new... I was going to say new and improved trader compound, but this place is a wreck. They must have gotten a good deal in the land or something with all this. this. This is like radioactive waste here. Oh, I can see the traders down below as well. Okay, well, they've got some toxic waste cleanup to do. Or maybe this is like a disguise to keep out the mutants and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's some destroyed chem stations and stuff back here. Workbench. Forge a headbook. I gotta start carrying painkillers on me, I guess, don't I? Keep using bandages, but that's... Uh, I got, I think I have a whole bunch of painkillers back home. So wait, how do I, how do I get below to where the traders were? Oh, climbing rope. Those are always fun. Oh yeah, something definitely exploded around here. Holy crap, this place is a mess. I, pieces are still falling apart around me. I can hear them. All right, anything cool up here though? Anything I should be looting and bringing down with me or? No, I don't see anything really. Just some garbage to go through, I guess. Aha, okay, I can see a ladder that's going straight down. They must have been doing some excavation down here, building out whatever they're working on here. Oop, more, more things are collapsing. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. That's the fancy tech that I was looking for right there. Trader Borg and his alien tech. Wow, look at this. What is going? What the heck? They've got like laser beam sensors here to detect if anyone's coming. Oop, vending machine over here with nothing in it. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with the glowing pillars. Perhaps that's some sort of a defense mechanism, some sort of like a laser beam arc mirror or something like that. We've got elevator doors in the back. Okay, more vending machines. Okay, that one's got a couple things in it. And a long, look at the piping here. Trader Borg, man, he is, he's just on the next level here. They're uh, displaying some of their wares here, I guess. Some weapons that you can purchase from somebody. I do like the, that blue color on the the strings and whatnot Ooh, auto shotgun i think we're beyond that though we've got the combat shotgun now if only we could get a better quality one rocket launcher just turn nightfall too so be extra quiet while we're down here uh ooh, we have a locked door here but there is a button i guess i'll give it a try oh my I, I would I now want to close this door. I don't want anything to do with whatever is happening in here Hopefully I can just open this up and yeah, I think all of the traders are in here, right? Of course trader Borg has his pet zombie with him Wow. Oh, you guys are taking protection personal protection a little too literal I think you don't I don't think you have to stay in the cage like that unless you want to Borg This is definitely your doing isn't it? Of course it is. I know it is you don't you don't even have to answer that question You've trapped all of the other traders here lured them into your trap or I don't know Maybe they're going willingly who knows I sense some some nefarious deeds I think the trader Borg is trying to create a trader hive mind and that might have some future Future implications I'm not exactly sure but for now Trader Borg is my ally we need these guys let's see what they have for sale okay I've had a search through all five inventories and there are definitely some things we're gonna be spending a lot of money here but we're gonna do it tomorrow I I don't want to spend more money than I have to because I can go home I can get pumpkin cheesecake I can get awesome sauce we can do a sell-off bring more money I did get a couple of books here not that I think we particularly need the ones that I brought, but we did get Robotic Sledge Quality 3. I would really like to go further into robotics because I was um, in anticipation of making the Precision Workbench. That is going to allow us to make Utilitron robots. However, we crafted the Junk iBot, who's with us by the way, but um, we are definitely way off from crafting the Utilitron Mark 1 and even further away from the Utilitron Mark 2, so I don't quite know if we're gonna be able to get that far, but places like this 
are going to be our best bet. There's another button back here. Oh, okay. This just keeps going, I guess. I see. They've got um, personal defenders. You know what? You know how Trader Jen, she had those, um, she had zombies in some of her little airborne pods when we went to her compound and she was doing testing on them. They're, they're definitely testing ways to make the zombies more docile. Currently using that as a form of self-defense, but I have a sneaking suspicion that that could be used offensively in the future. Whoop! He just died. Okay, so that there's an expiration date on them. Okay, well, Jen needs to refine her craft then. I will leave them to it, and we shall return in the morning with pumpkin cheesecake. All right, there we go. Just turned morning, and I'm just doing a little bit of work around the base here. I'm getting some extra spotlights because there's a perfect spot for them right here. And I'm doing some rearranging on the interior of the base because this thing is huge. This is the precision workbench. And despite the fact that it said somewhere that it would make workbench recipes, it does not. I had to actually put the regular workbench outside temporarily while I get everything out of this forge because I'm going to have to pull that forge and put the workbench back in so that I can make regular workbench items. It's fine. We'll just be down to one forge. I think we're getting toward the end of our need to like just con like I pulled up one of the mixers anyway because I, I don't think we're going to need a whole lot more cement or concrete mix. We're mostly just focused on steel now at this stage unless I was just thinking to myself and unless I get the vertebird and then I want to craft or build myself a vertebird landing pad which this whole area over here is very open to real estate. We could like focus on a like a garage parking area and a vertebird landing pad, or we could do that off in this direction. Whoops. To be determined, I suppose, but I definitely do need to do some more work here because I've messed up the entire electrical system on the base here. Okay, everything should be working again. Almost. There's one more switch to hook up, and that's this one here. That goes to the rooftop blade traps, and... Another spot here for a switch if we need one in the future. Actually, still quite a bit of real estate up here. We do, we're just, it's a bit of a minimalist crafting base this time around. I like it. It's its cozy, it's quaint, it's low maintenance and was easy to build, so <laughs> that's half of it. Okay, so if we take a look inside the precision workbench. Oh, okay, so we can actually craft the parts because I, I was missing, I think it was... An arm, a leg, and the torso, which seem easy to make. Ne it needs some motion sensors, and otherwise we have what we need there, but we just don't have the tech, the schematics, the magazines and advanced robotics. Yeah, see, for some reason I was doing spotlight here, and it was like, no, wire tool required. Even though I have the calipers, soldering station, tool and die set, uh, it just it needs to be in the regular workbench. So I, this thing has to kick around for a while longer, it would seem. Okay, I've got all the sellables together. Just remind me not to sell that impact driver. We're gonna need that. And what, what was I doing here? I was trying to make a, here we go. There's a repair kit parts. That is used to make the repair kit generic, which is right here, so craft that. And then after that, I'm gonna get the vertebird repair kit, just in case we find a vertebird out there today. That all, that all it needs is like this repair kit here. So I'll just have that with me just in case. And you know what I'll also do? I'll bring a bunch of forged iron with me so that we can do that trick where we like, we salvage it and then repair it and then keep doing that and keep pulling parts off. Look at me, I'm really thinking this one through. <laughs> it's, it's just not gonna work though. Like we're gonna get to that vertebrate and it's gonna be like one of 12. You need 13 parts to repair this thing or something like that. I don't think I have any. I was just looking at the parts earlier. Where are they? In here. All of my parts are in one spot here. Um, there was also the ambulance and all that needed was like the light bar, but Oh, I do have the ambulance light bar. Okay, I'm bringing that with me too. And <laughs> I'm gonna make up an ambulance repair kit. Okay, I'll meet you over at the ambulance. We'll try that one first then. All right, this is the spot, the location of my next new ride. This is an old ambulance. I brought the vehicle. Ooh, we got gunfire here. Oh, we got a whole squad over here. Wow, multiples. Mordellus and Purple Firestorm. Whoop, I'm so sorry about that. Please don't try to kill me. Yes, whoop, look, I helped. I'm helpful. Don't beat me. Ah, Purple Firestorm's like, this is none of my business. I'm out of here. Are you just gonna chase me down? 
Here, I gotta string you into some zombies that will distract you. Here we go. I'm running away. Right, I think they've... I think Mordellus has forgiven me. He's got bigger fish to fry. You know what, Mordellus? You can work on that cop there. I'm gonna go talk to this other guy over here. Try not to make the same mistake. There we go. Okay, Firestorm with the Desert Vulture. Interested in hiring you? Ooh, that's... Very expensive. I did bring all of my money with me. We're gonna go to the traders here in just a second. Okay, let's... <laughs> oh no, did I hit him again? Please, please let me talk to you. Do you want to join the team too? I mean, I've got the extra money. Yes, hire. Oh my god, we got two extra soldiers, although we ain't gonna have them for long because they are taking some serious damage around here. Where did all these nurses come from? Was there an ambulance nearby? There was! There, there's the ambulance right there. Okay. Oh, I can swing freely now. Everyone's on my side. I've paid the price to be able to whack people with the club without consequences. Okay. That. Wow. There's a whole wandering horde sitting in here. Well, I haven't been using these very much. That is about to change. Okay, guys. Please stand clear, though. And just kneecap. Bow there. Oh, don't go in the fire. Don't go in the fire. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, there's a whole horde that was stuck in the stairwell there. Look at the massacre. That was eventful. Please just go away though. <laughs> for goodness sake, stay in my inventory. We will need you for the massive assault to come. Okay, what, what even happened around here? This is just crazy. What was I doing? I was trying to fix this vehicle over here. I was unable to make the proper repair kits, right? I got the, I've got the, okay, so it's a bit of a chain. You gotta get the repair kit parts to make the repair kit generic, and then you use the repair kit generic to make the repair kit ambulance or vertebrate, but the repair kit that's specific for a vehicle requires a whole bunch of gasoline, which I don't have, which is why we're gonna go to the trader, do the awesome sauce, the pumpkin cheesecake, which I forgot, have to go back to the base to get that, and then we will do a big sell-off and purchasing run, and then we'll be able to come back here and hopefully get this thing <gasps> operational. Why? Is this a regular impact? That's a regular impact driver. That's why. I need the vehicle repair impact driver. Okay, well, I just, like, whacked a whole bunch of parts off of this thing for no friggin' reason. <laughs> Things are just going swimmingly today, aren't they? Okay, just make some room there. We got a whole bunch of people hanging out in my backpack. I did get an ambulance seat off of the ambulance here. And we do have the forged iron, so I could repair this now I, now I gotta remember what button oh and that has one hit point left so don't inadvertently hit it with something here we go repair repair get this all fixed up whole bunch of zombies in the back there that might have been part of the horde and then that was the light bar I guess there now it's six of eight what do we need now we need um what is that like a hubcap I don't know what that is. Well, it's six of eight now, so okay, we can table the whole ambulance thing and um, we'll have to revisit that later. Okay, I gotta go home and get the pumpkin cheesecake and then we're gonna meet back up at the, the multi-trader. Okay, apologies for the delay there. Ugh, it's taking forever, I swear, I swear, I pulled out a stack of five pumpkin cheesecake this morning and I have no idea what I did with it. All right, let's get back down here. I'm sure they'll turn up eventually. If not, then we'll just blame it on the troops. They probably found them and just you ate them all or something like that. I did, however, craft up one more, so I do have one pumpkin cheesecake. It's only 5%, but hey, I don't have any sugar butts. That's unfortunate. I do have skill points, though, and I do believe I could take, oh, all five of them just straight into better barter. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Okay, and that leaves, okay, one pumpkin cheese. I swear, I know for a fact that I had five of these. I pulled them out of a box. I looked everywhere i searched every container every person everywhere could not find them i might have dropped them somewhere make it snappy i gotta take a crap that's definitely too much information there wrecked right let's go with uh, what's the timer on all this stuff gotta refresh my memory here three on the awesome sauce five on the cheesecake let's go cheesecake awesome sauce and borg and i have the best relationship well, so i will just trade? do my trading with him and sell him some of the knickknacks that i brought with me and that's it. I did. <laughs> I had that level three impact driver, and I accidentally sold it to him. Then he wants sixty-seven hundred for it back. I do think that I could probably make one. Yeah, I can make a level three. So okay, that's not too big of a deal. But whoops, <laughs> on my I would yeah, the level six branch is fine. Who cares? All right, now we got to do Hello, some quick Catholic. lightning purchasing. We'll okay, and I've now lost all of my bonuses. I think I have a little bit left on 
Thanks for the business. Something over there, but We're let's have a look at what I purchased there because I really, I got a you know, ton of stuff here. Of Bunch day. of magazines, but I did find this thing here. It says Advanced Fire Control Group Schematic. It says that it allows compatible weapons to fire automatically. Coolers are installed to help prevent premature wear. I don't know exactly what that does, but I can craft it now and it's easy to craft. So we should probably make that and see what that does. Oh my God. Advanced Evolution Mutagen. What? AEM Solution Refined. AEM. Oh, yes. This, wait, handle carefully, wouldn't want to end up like those guys in the tubes. Would you use this item on a mutant stasis tube to finish their transformation? What? I don't know what all that means, but basically, you know how we've been finding mutant armor and it's like, you know, give this armor to your mutant companion and I've always been killing mutants, so I didn't know that... I didn't know the process for actually getting a mutant ally, but apparently you have to grow them in a vat. That sounds really awesome, and I gotta do some more research and figure out how that's done. But, let's get out of here. I bought a ton of fuel, like stacks upon stacks of it, because I don't want to have to go mining again for it. Got a bunch of magazines, let's just blow through those. I did get this thing called Home of Tomorrow which I don't know what that unlocked for me. It said it unlocked certain kinds of walls. Perhaps it's these, oh, the bandit walls, the log walls, and uh, some, some metal fences and stuff. Maybe we'll craft a couple of these. Wall concrete variant helper. Yeah, we should craft some of those. Those might be the walls that we've seen, like the wall that was behind the Ohm Depot. All right, well, we'll do some more research into that a little bit later. What else did I buy anyway? Anything special here? Not really, some, some crafting materials, resources. Oh, right, the laser shotgun, level one that I bought from, I, don't know, I think it was Hugh that had that. Let's um at least see what kind of ammo type that takes. Of uh, Whoa, that thing looks so cool. And it uses the same ammo type that the laser rifle uses, but we can't. We can craft the microfusion cells, it's just difficult to do so. And it's only two shots for the laser rifle. It's like an over and under breach loading type, I think. Anyway, whoop, I think the thing I wanna do now, I gotta go home and make up the vertebird repair kit just on the off chance that the vertebird we found earlier is actually repairable. So I'll get that crafted and then I'll meet you up on top of the crack -a book tower. Okay, I definitely got a healthy dose of radiation. I'm still getting radiation up here. Okay, it's kind of difficult to find a safe spot, but yep, there we go. Wow, that thing sounded cool. This is the new, I, I don't, breach loading bolt action maybe? <laughs> Interesting type of shotgun here, but here we go. Okay, I did get the Vertibird repair kit. Uh, yep, right there. That required wheels to make, which, and I, and I just learned that wheels are not craftable. You have to find them in the world. So, oh, there's radioactive material on the roof of that parking garage there as well. And there's a nice looking uh, weapons case right there. Ooh, might have to dip over there and check all that out. Uh, anyway, I went over to Johnny's and there were some, oh, this is five of six. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny had some wheels that were on the ground. I picked them up and they were functional. So this should just, oh my God. Yes, we got the vertebrate. That just was five of eight or, or five of six. We just needed the one thing. That was it. Oh my God. Oh, and that's the radioactive stuff right there that I've been fighting with over there. Okay, wow, we just got ourselves airborne transportation. Right, well, let's um, let's get a bandage <laughs> in case I fall out or something, get it? Anyway, let's uh, give this a test run here. Okay, there's some suspicious looking white smoke on the right rotor there, might need to get some WD-40 for that one, and there's some black smoke on the left one to balance things out. Okay, um, ooh. Is it, it's not a true VTOL. It kind of has some forward momentum as you're trying to kind of lift off, but okay. We got to be really careful with this because I imagine it's a little bit fragile. Oh, and also my motorcycle's down there. Crap. Okay, I'll have to run back with some Nuka-Cola tonight and try to pick that up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do then is I want to head over to this Higashi over here and see if there's maybe another vertebird on the helicopter pad over here. All right, we're coming up on Higashi here and I'm just seeing the helipad now. 
looks like a gyrocopter there. A broken down gyrocopter. And of course, like a thousand. Oh, well, crap, crap. We got the wheel stuck. Okay, pitch back, pitch back. I don't have a pilot's license. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that took off 9% of the durability there, so less of that, please. Okay, do we have any other helipads around here? Not, I mean, I think I'm probably gonna crash this at some, at some point and just lose it entirely, but good to know that there's a gyrocopter there if we find some parts for it. Highly unlikely unless I purchase it from the trader because I had this the first gyrocopter I've even seen. We just got heckin' lucky here on the vertebrate. Okay, let's see. Let's we we gotta we gotta learn how to land and all that stuff. So, uh, the, the controls are a little bit weird, but at least I can take off and land more or less vertically. Okay, and there's gonna be zombies that come in here around the airdrop, right? And bring it down, nice and easy. There we go. Good stuff. Get out of the way here. Let's see if I can just grab this and run. Whoop. You hear that? We got gunfire here somewhere. I'm gonna track down whoever that is. And it sounded like AK-47 fire. Wouldn't mind having that person. Do I- did I have enough money with me? I- I just barely have enough money. We also did get a SCAR assault rifle bundle and a book bundle as well. Energy weapons. That's laser rifle quality 5 right there. We should be getting into the plasma rifle pretty soon. Okay, we're getting closer. Oh, right over here, I see him. He's fighting against a soldier. And the diet it's Spanky? No escape. How did you get out here, Spanky? Spanky, you were... You are supposed to be in a storage chest back home, man. Even in the desert armor. Come on now. Interested in hiring you? 15,000? Yes, another one. Okay, you need to immediately just get back in my pocket, please. Get out of here, Tommy. Take care of that guy. And are you satisfied now? Pick you up. Oh my god, we're gonna have, like... We're gonna have like a dozen soldiers for some of these upcoming battles. There's a there's a couple of places vault 101 is definitely on the list We got to get in there uh, vault. I'm from vault 101 So I there is an arsenal there a, a weapons cache And I think that we're gonna need some of the weapons that are there to outfit our soldiers for the big attack on the storm raiders That didn't go very well did it whoops are we good? We're fine. All right, back to the vertebrate before it, it just explodes or something. Here we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the rain will put out whatever fire is occurring inside the rotors. Oh, but yeah, this um, fog flying, definitely risky. We do have a massive antenna in front of us. Watch out for that. Oh, geez, we gotta see if I can make it home. Yeah, so Vault 101, Storm Raider Compound. We have Area 51 still on the docket. And there was, where's? There are a couple things around here that I've seen in my travels and I never quite got around to kind of checking it out. One of them is this compound over here. I kind of walked right by it one day when I was... Oh, that must have been when we found Vault 101 when we were kind of working our way up through here. I... Whoop. Oh. Getting some radiation. Oh, right. That was the parking garage that we were looking at earlier. Right. I did see this like big walled compound over here. I want to go check it out, get a closer look. Man, yeah, that radiation is killer. And it seems like increasingly as we go along here, as we progress, we're finding more and more places with radioactive substances in them, which is making it very difficult. We will need to craft some more. Oh, it's a housing development here. Is this not the place I was thinking of? That the bird just let, tried to land on the top of the vehicle here. No, I think what I'm looking for is this over here. Yeah, we've got to get that power armor radiation resistance mod thing. Oh, this is the place right here. This is a really big walled in compound. I have no idea what it is from here. I can't see a damn thing and it's nightfall now. I can see rads down there though. So this is something that's gonna require a lot of soldiers as well, I think. So yeah, we'll have to come over here and do a little, little bit of a probing mission here in the future. Oh man, wait till I show Johnny this. He'll be so proud of me. The Rad Cats, they're gonna be clamoring to join the squad here. Now that I've got some nice transportation, just don't hit the trees, please. That would be a complete disaster. Get some elevation. Right, so here's the real test. Can I bring it down in the quote unquote field? that's next to the house here. Oh, just as the fog is lifting too, yeah. Do I have lights? I do have lights. Oh, that is sweet. Yeah, bring it down right over here. Look, this thing is as big as the base. What? Okay, we just have to be careful not to let uh, other people steal this or destroy it. Yeah, we gotta get this up off the ground. And we also need a garage to park our vehicles in. I'm very 
displeased that we lost, somehow lost, the truck. And, oh geez, yeah, we gotta go get the motorcycle. Oh boy, well, I might as well get some Nuka-Cola and run and get that right now. Nuka Cherry, Quantum, Quartz. And let's just see if a Mega Crush stacks with that, and... Um... No, I seem to be moving quite slow still. Am I moving slow? Yeah, I'm moving really slow. Hmm. Maybe those things are not stacking like they used to. Yeah, they appear to be. I have all of them over here. All right, well, whatever. I gotta run over there and get the motorcycle anyway. Shouldn't take but a couple of minutes to get there and drive back. All right, here we go. We're back to the vehicle. All right, so I'm gonna ride home and I'm gonna start getting a plan going for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I think we need to conduct some sort of a raid here in the local area. We've already discussed some of the options for that. So we will knock that out and then we'll have a raid against ourselves. It'll be Horde Night in the next couple of days there. So we'll have to make sure that the base is ship shape and ready to go. We'll have to do a big, whoa, a big steel upgrading pass. I think a cop just blew up a car back there. And then if things are looking pretty good, I think it's probably time to call in the painting crew and bring them over, at least get just a rough painting job done on the base. And then I think we have to start looking into the possibility at least of building some sort of a garage, vertebrate landing pad, and that actually, that could require a ton of resources because the vertebrate is just so big, but we have to get it up and off the ground and protected, especially for things like Horde Night. Right, here we are, safe and sound. We've got blinking yellow lights again. That seems to <laughs> happen from time to time. We have three soldiers down here. How many do I have with me right now? I have one with me, five, six, and seven. We have a total of seven people on the team here, although I'm very, very much inclined to get ourselves a mutant somehow, some way. Wow, that's cool. I'm not sure how it works. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. Maybe I'll talk to Johnny. Johnny knows everything around here. So why don't you guys take first watch down here? I'm gonna head upstairs and do some cooking and crafting and we'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.